Oh hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be reading my essays that got me into Columbia University. Um, this is a little series I started. Uh, in addition to these, I've also read the essays that got me into schools such as Brown, Stanford, um, University of Southern California. So uh, you can find those other videos on my channel or somewhere else, wherever they'll be later. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get started. I have Rory here for um, emotional support, but let's get started. List a few words or phrases that describe your ideal college community. This is an essay that they want to know what kind of things speak to your values as a uh, potential college student. Um, for this essay, because it's specific to Columbia, I do think that you should be trying to find words that you know would probably describe Columbia, whilst you also find words that describe really your ideal college community. You don't want to lie on these forms, and even if you are just trying to get into school, you want to say something that's authentically you, because if you don't believe that these are things that would align to your values, then I don't think you belong at that school, you know? So you don't want to lie, because lying is <laughs> wrong. <laughs> But no, um, say things that you really speak to your values and you also are staying aligned to the things that Columbia has promoted themselves to be. Versatile, eccentric, an emphasis on community and empowerment. Students aren't afraid to speak up. Students aren't afraid to stand out. Offers counseling and psychological advising for students. Provides a plethora of opportunities to network. Has a swim team. Professors provide individual attention for students, intimate classes, in between a city and a small town, allows me to create, allows me to have a life but still get my studies done, puts me out of my comfort zone, supportive of my dreams and doesn't prescribe their perfect path for me, brings more to traditional classroom, innovative ways to study, the community would make me feel like I belong. So my essay, I used a mixture of words and phrases. Uh, some of the words I use like versatile or eccentric, and I use some phrases like um, they uh, would help me feel like I belong, or they offer psychological services and stuff like that. These are all things that Columbia kind of does in a way, but then I'm making it so it's a combination of things. Um, a lot of people can in a list and you can make them all phrases you can make them all words but I kind of did a little jumble list and so that you're kind of uh, having a different um, a different amount of time it takes you to read each phrase so that uh, it's all you know yeah 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 list the titles of the required readings from courses during the school year or summer that you enjoyed the most in the past year this is one I found a lot of different opinions on some, uh, some people have advised that you only list a couple, maybe three to ten uh, books. I wasn't trying to do that, I was actually trying. And you don't need to actually fill up the word count either, but I was just like, authentically, I read a lot. And so I'm just going to put whatever I feel, you know, whatever. Um, it says that you should list things that you've read the most in the past year, and somewhat I did do that. But seeing as I started my essays, like, way before um, my senior year, um, I had things all the way from sophomore year in here, and so that kind of wasn't exactly true, but yeah. Yeah. The Invisible Man, The Kite Runner, Popular Mechanics, Weathering Heights, Meyer Psychology for AP, Democracy in America, Letter from Birmingham Jail, Tony Steinberg, Brave 7th Grade Viking Warrior, Hidden Figures, the Death of the Moth, A Good Man is Hard to Find, The Story of an Hour, The Ruined Maid, Self-Reliance, Shooting an Elephant. So a lot of the books I use, these are mostly uh, non-fiction books and these were things that um, were required from reading. Um, it, what's fun about this is it doesn't always have to be necessarily English things. If you're in a biology or chemistry class and you read something interesting about how cancer cells are being studied, you could put that. Um, if you are in an economic class and you learn something interesting about rent control, you can put that. Um, at the time when I wrote my essay, I was actually in uh, AP Psychology, and so uh, I put my textbook, and uh, that obviously that worked out. So you definitely have a varied um, amount of things you can do for this essay and don't feel limited to uh, one thing. I also didn't use 
simply just books and stories. I used a couple of uh, short stories, like um, Story of an Hour or Death of the Mall. So I just want to show versatility in the things that I am reading. List the titles of the books you've read for pleasure that you enjoyed most in the past year. This is another one. Um, you can use 10, you can use 3, you can use however many you feel comfortable. They can all have to be uh, things that were uh, you read in school. They all have to be things that make you sound smart or technical. Um, a lot of people would put something fancy and something that's already on the core curriculum, but I really wouldn't advise doing that because it's just, you know, you want to be authentic here. Um, and then oh, don't overthink it. One thing I would suggest though is. Um, Earlier, I initially put a lot of books that I read um, that I really do love, but I read books that were um, more young adult and on a, a lower level. And you know, if Diary of a Wimpy Kid is your favorite book series, yeah, go ahead and do that. But you also want to show that your reading level is not uh, elementary or middle school level. So you do want to make sure that you put a couple of books that are at least a higher level, that require a higher level of intellect or thinking in your, um, your list. The Prince and the Dressmaker, Call Me By Your Name, The Perks of Being a Wallflower, 13 Reasons Why, Americanized, Rebel Without a Green Card, The Poet X, Spinning, The Boys in the Boat, Nine Americans in Their Epic Quest for Gold at the 1936 Berlin Olympics, The Omnivore Dilemma, The Hate You Give, Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe, I'll Give You the Sun, Persephilis, Simon vs. the Homo Sapien Agenda, The Inexplicable Logic of My Life, Anthony in the Kitchen. This is a um, list that I really think was interesting because um, I used a lot of fictional books because that's usually why I'm going to be reading for pleasure, but then I'm also showing that I'm a little bit by diversified by interest. Uh, Anthony in the Kitchen is actually a cookbook, so if you have an interest in cooking or you have something like that, you can definitely put that in there. Uh, I just wanted to show that I have a diversified reading uh, taste and now I'm just not reading things you know, that are limited to fiction or YA or nonfiction or etc. I'm having a diversified list of things that I read. List the titles of the print, electronic publications, and websites you read regularly. So, um, I actually don't read a lot, lot of websites, but I put the things I most often am um, using. A lot of things were actually stuff that if you go on Snapchat, the little uh, stories and stuff that you type, you know, they have articles and stuff on there. So I just tap on those and read those, and I count those as things I listed in my um, list. Splash Magazine, Huffington Post, The Washington Post, Pink News, Vice, BuzzFeed, Mitu, Vice. Better Reward official website. <laughs> um, at the time when I wrote these essays, Better Reward was nominated for the Senate, so uh, I was checking his website rarely, or no, I think he was nominated for president. Anyway, he dropped out literally by the time I sent my essays in, so by the time they read them, he was no longer a candidate for the election. But it was a little bit unfortunate because I already sent in the essay and I had no nothing else I could change because I sent these essays in um, early, so before the early action deadline or etc. So I couldn't change anything after I sent them in. Splash Magazine is a swimming magazine and it's um, showing that I'm an athlete and I'm, I'm pointing to that background. So you definitely want to just show with these essays that you are diversified in your interests and you're a multifaceted individual. But you also want to stay authentic and be honest in your things because if you aren't honest then you might get into school and if, you know, that's good. But then is it really good fit for you? So, you know, type like that. List the titles of films, concerts, shows, exhibits, lectures, and other entertainments you enjoyed the most in the past year. Um, so Columbia's essays are actually really fun, and a lot of them are specific, well, you know, the Columbia essays are iconic and they're alright, but a lot of them are actually pretty fun, and you just want to have fun with these essays, because if you're not having fun, then leave. If you're not having fun, then just leave. Um, you know, it's just... You really want to make sure that you're just displaying who you are as a person um, and they can get the biggest sense of what you're doing. Because the biggest advice I could give is if you um, don't get an interview, the only thing that these people have to go off of you is, you know, 
your essays. So you definitely want to show your personality, try to be personal, be funny, be humorous, or whoever your personality quirks are, show that in your essays or by your interest, and um, they can gauge your person. I didn't have an interview for uh, Columbia, so I need to make sure that every single thing I put in my application really helped me stand out as a character. Into the Woods, The Devil Wears Prada, Spider-Man, Into the Spider-Verse, Heather's The Musical, Carrie The Musical, Parks and Recreation, Teen Wolf, House, How's to Get Away with Murder, Call Me By Your Name, Miss Stevens, Riverdale, Pretty Little Lions the Perfectionist, R.I.P., Beautiful Boy, The King, The Perks of Being a Wallflower, The Hate You Give, Love Simon, Queer Eye, The Politician, The Third Democratic Presidential Debate, Bangkok Love Stories, Innocence, Criminal Minds, Four levels of fill in the blank from amateur to food sciences. Thirteen reasons why. Conan Gray, Billie Eilish, Romani at the VMAs, Ariana Grande, Nicki Minaj, Sean Mendes, Timothy Chalamet, Manu Rios, Meryl Streep, Mortal Kombat X, Just Dance series, Mighty Mike Show, Vocal Trash, Roma, In a Heartbeat, Troy Sivan, How Dare You, Red Thunberg. Instant Family, The Shape of Water, Dragon Ball Super, Disenchantment. There are so many things I left out of that list. That list was actually a pretty winded list, and I just you know wasn't even worried about. Some people say, oh, you don't want to fill up the word count, you just want to do a medium uh, list, but I didn't care. I just wanted to fill in with as much stuff as I was possibly watching and really enjoying at the time. Um, I put a couple of jokes in there. Um, pretty low buyers, perfectionist. I put RIP afterwards because it was it was canceled by um, the time I wrote it. And I was just so upset. But I loved the series so much and I was watching it. So I just went ahead and put it in. Um, and you haven't noticed, I love Timothy Chalamet. And I wrote a lot of things that were, um, you know, starring him. Um, I put The King, his Netflix movie, in there, and at the time I wrote my essays, or by the time I sent in my essays, the movie hadn't even come out yet, but I figured by the time they write the essays, I would have watched it, and I would have enjoyed it, which I did. So, uh, that was the thing. Um, Queen Meryl, uh, a lot of stuff of hers, Conan Gray, Mangarias, just a lot of people that I just was really obsessed with over the past year. I pinned a couple of things. I went to the uh, Texas State Fair and a couple of the acts and performances there. I put their stuff in there. Um, they're a little bit more localized or to the state of Texas or whatever. Or, I don't know, some of them are national. But I put those in there too. So there's a lot of things that I am showing on local, international, national level just of interest in different things. So um, I would definitely advise you do these types of things in your essays to just really make you stand out. So the next two essays are um, a little bit more basically the Why Columbia essays, and these are essays that may take a little bit more thinking than the initial uh, kind of fun essays. Um, not to say the others were quick fire, but you had a lot less words, there was a lot less to think about because it was um, more about questions aligns your interests. Um, these two essays are more essays that are aligned to the school and you definitely want to make sure that you are um, saying the right things in those essays. But the biggest thing is the essay has to be specific to the cause that you're applying for. It needs to be an essay that you can't just copy and paste and you can um, apply to any school. It needs to be something that's specific to your school. So that is one that I definitely focused on specific Columbia things, and, uh, things that I knew would pertain directly to Columbia, so they stood out. Please tell us what you value most about Columbia and why. Meth, I exclaimed, slamming my hand on the table. Dozens of heads whipped around to the source of outburst. The question at hand was posed in my psychology class. What was the most dangerous drug in modern day society? I stood up, prepared to speak, and explained the reason for my enthusiasm. I began, okay, I don't know how many of you have seen Beautiful Boy, but I was immediately cut off by a menacing combination of eye rolls and sighs around the classroom. He's just saying that because he loves Timothy Chalamet, someone called out. Already I could feel the blood rushing to my cheeks. They were right. I absolutely adore Timothy Chalamet, but not only because of his acting. Timothy's non-conformity, and may I add, great hair, are reasons I fell in love with him. Oh, and he also went to Columbia. I love the types of people that Columbia produces. Chalamet plays every day with what masculinity is, 
taking roles, he says, instigate change. Associate Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg made huge achievements for women and equality as a whole, showing great promises against unprobable odds. Similarly, Barack Obama made history becoming the first African-American U.S. president. I value Columbia's knack for selecting revolutionaries. Columbia cultivates, in my eyes, a strong discontent with the status quo. We need to alumni to break down walls and achieve never-been-done things. I value this because I live in a world that now more than ever tries to marginalize me, to label who I am and underscore what I achieve. Columbia would allow me a platform to be heard and write my own story. So my essay was pretty unique in the sense that I started almost as if it was a narrative type um, essay and I feel like that was a really good hook to draw in my reader. So I started with the storyteller and then I quickly switched to um, from the antidote to talking about um, alumni who uh, went to Columbia. And you know, to be honest, it may, seem shallow, it may seem shallow, but you know, a lot of reasons why I apply to schools I apply to because of their alumni. I know for sure that the wording on this essay is different this year. Um, in past years, the prompt has been, uh, tell us what you value about Columbia and why. And so I thought that was really easy because it didn't necessarily have to be anything as close. I thought it gave you a lot more freedom because I talked about their alumni. Because that's something I really value about Columbia because it's a shallow reason why I also chose the school. Um, but I said, you know, I need to write in a way that makes it seem like I'm not being that shallow. And so I think I did very creatively. Um, this year, that question has been uh, phrased starting with the 2021 year. It has changed to be basically why you want to come to Columbia. So it's a lot more direct and open. But that doesn't mean that um, you could, you have to change what you would say. It's basically the same question. It's just a little bit more direct this time. So, um, yeah, I still have the same advice. Uh, make sure you focus on uh, maybe one or two things because it's about 300, a 300-word 300 essay. So you don't have that much space to expand your thoughts. So I would say maybe focus on one or two things and you would stick around that realm. Um, if you want to do the academics and you, if you really have a little bit of chance to spend one or two sentences on the um, extracurricular opportunities or study abroad or research, etc., that they have, then uh, I would definitely say to go for it. So the la um, the last essay on the uh, Columbia application is a question that's basically asking about uh, something that interests you or um, et cetera like that, some philosophical thoughts that you have. And this is another essay that you um, definitely want to be kind of specific to Columbia. Um, you want to show how Columbia can help strengthen these interests over time or help you in the field that you study. It's not a wide major essay in a way, but it also it's like you definitely want to show your interest in this essay and you can talk about, I think you could definitely strengthen your essay by talking about how that major can be pursued only at Columbia and how it's the only right school for you, something like that. Please tell us what from your current and past experiences either academic or personal, attracts you specifically to the field or fields of study that you know in the member questions section. If you are currently undecided, please write about any field or fields in which you may have an interest in at this time. So yeah, it's a basic why major essay, but I would suggest that you also use this to talk more about the why Columbia essay. If you hadn't had a academic centric answer in the original why Columbia essay. One of the things that scares me most is apathic people. The ones okay with ripping away families at the border, with criminalizing marrying who you love, or with ignoring the cries of oppressed people. Einstein may have insisted on creating an atomic bomb, but was he thinking about how he could subsequently kill thousands? How he could begin a decades-long cold war? There is such a thing as being blinded by your intelligence. My love of psychology comes from its ability to humanize you. His ability to allow forethought. Einstein's intelligence made him ignorant. If he were more conscious about the psychological effects of power or of aggression, mayhaps he wouldn't have such a deadly weapon for mankind. The mind is a multifaceted marvel. Nothing works the same way twice. How one person processes a big test is completely different from another. As I learned all the things I could about this field, it made me think, how could one not sympathize? We go through life blind and selfish, but truthfully, we never know what other people are going through. High school has been one of the most psychologically trying years of my life. I wish I had the resources to get help, but we couldn't afford it. It was only more recently I was provided with counseling. 
Additionally, in the midst of my own depression, I was insistent to feel like I couldn't complain because others had it worse. It hurts to have my feelings invalidated, and no one should have the right to say your feelings are invalid. This is why psychology attracts me and I seek to learn more. Columbia seminars excite me and provide the opportunity to discuss the wonders of the mind typically beyond the typical lecture, allowing me to enrich my intellectual growth. Um, so yeah, that's uh, um, my kind of why major essay. Um, and I put a little couple sentences about Columbia at the end. And I, you know, if I were to rewrite this again, I would probably change that part to strengthen it up because this was a little bit more... Um, I was rushing this part of the essay, actually. Um, the ending part because I knew I wanted to talk about psychology and I, you know, had to say all this about Einstein and stuff. But um, when it came to the actual Columbia part, I was just like, I don't know how to tie Columbia in. So I just put a couple of sentences about how they have seminars in their core curriculum. So uh, it worked, obviously, though. Um, I actually ended up copying part of the essay and using it as my essay for. Uh, for Stanford, and I just changed a lot of the words. I think I changed the beginning and I changed the ending part, especially the part that had Columbia, and I just deleted those parts. Um, and I made that the why this major essay because it is quintessentially a why this major essay, it's not necessarily a why this cool essay. And I just um, deleted the part that was speaking specifically to Columbia. I wouldn't necessarily suggest doing that um, if you definitely want to try to write new essays for each uh, college that are um, school specific unless of course you know it's a pretty vague question like what's your favorite movie of course you can copy the same response for that um, but uh yeah those are my um why columbia essays if it wasn't obvious i obviously love a lot of celebrities and a lot of them i name dropped i name dropped timothy chalamet a lot i wrote my entire why essay a first half about him and it uh got me into the school Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any other questions about other vid uh, colleges or schools I've gotten to, or if you're just interest interested in um, staying around, then subscribe for more content. Um, there should be more videos popping up around here soon. I don't know. Uh, good morning.